This is Kaylee with the Drain Strainer. Today I'm here with Lena Fulham, the Director of Nutrition Services at Columbia Public Schools. And today we're going to be installing a drain strainer in Oakland Junior High cafeteria. Lena, tell me what problems a drain strainer is going to solve for you today. Well, Kaylee, we've had some trouble with our drains backing up into our kitchen. And uh, we've had a plumber come out several times to clean out our drains. And it's becoming very expensive for the school. So we're hoping that the drain strainer will help to prevent some of the food solids going into the drain so that we won't have to clean it out as often. Lena, thank you so much for letting us videotape the installation of the drain strainer just so we can show everybody out there just how simple it is. And now I'm here with Lucas Graves from Master Tech Plumbing who's going to do the installation for us today. Lucas, tell us a little about your company. Master Tech Plumbing's been around for uh, about 20 years now. Um, we do uh, Friday work, commercial and residential. We are experienced in all areas, drains, uh, until water heaters, um, and we'd like to take care of everybody's problems. So where are you going to be installing the drain strainer? Uh, right underneath there, right next to the garbage disposal, uh, kind of right in this corner. So we're not actually replacing the garbage disposal? No. What we're after on this one is the garbage disposal is working fine. What we're after is catching the solids after it's brown. Uh, we're going to use a drain strainer to catch those solids at the solid separator uh, before it goes to the drain lines. What happens with these drain lines is they, uh, if the solids are separated, they get caught in these old metal lines and then they just bay la basically layer in uh, and then cause clogs later on. We hope that this will illustrate how the drain strainer can actually be used in conjunction with a commercial garbage disposal to help catch the solids after so it doesn't clog up the pipe. Lucas, before we get started, can you kind of walk us through the process? Yeah. First off, we're going to disconnect the garbage disposal and the drain line. We're going to leave the garbage disposal in place, disconnect the drain line from the wall. Uh, secondly, we're going to put the drain strainer together uh, so we can get kind of an idea of where it goes. Uh, then last, we're going to put uh, a kind of hole in the wall to access the drain line to lower the connection. Now that you have all the pipes connected, are you going to bolt the drain strainer to the floor? Yes, we're going to anchor the flange feet to the floor to give it extra stability for whenever the strainer drawer is open and closed. So about how long did that whole process take? Uh, about two hours. It looked like the hardest part was getting the connection to the wall drain lowered. Yeah, if we didn't have to do that, it would have gone awkward. So what happens if the garbage disposal stops working? Quick and easy, it can, the garbage disposal can be removed, and the strainer just moved over and put it in its place. Well, Lucas, thank you so much for letting us film you while you were working. We really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, Lena, what do you think? Well, hopefully this will eliminate the need for uh, plumbers to come out and clean out our drains over and over. And also, I like the fact that if our garbage disposal ever goes out, that we can replace it with the drain strainer. I feel that we've made an investment in our future so that we don't have to spend as much money down the road. Lana, thank you so much for letting us show everyone how simple it is to install the drain strainer to help prevent the food solids from clogging up the floor drain. 